Give me a few seconds. I'm trying to load this. It's a very good case. This patient was uh, diagnosed as cystic bronchiectasis at the outside hospital. And uh, he got the CT. LIP, good. Anything, any other thoughts? Tracheomegaly, excellent. Someone is getting somewhere, good. What kind of syndrome is that? Excellent, Munir Cohn. Let me just. So this is tracheobronchomegaly. Whenever you see loosen, loosen lesions within the lung, don't jump your gun and call it as bronchiectasis. I mean, there are there are some usual things we call it emphysema, bronchiectasis. So yes, and all those things. When you look have a loosened lesion, always make sure whether there is continuation towards the adjacent bronchi. In this patient, you can see there is. Tracheal dilatation, bronchial dilatation, and also the bronchi in the segmental and subsegmental region. When you see tracheobronchomegaly ex extending all the way into the segmental and subsegmental bronchi, I always think of Monier Cohn syndrome. It's a commonly kept spotter in exam and very commonly, very uncommonly diagnosed. The problem is they always look it over as bronchiectasis, bronchiectasis, and they will be put on unnecessary drugs to avoid. Uh, infection but in the end they what they will have is tracheobronchomegaly we need to give them a syndromic treatment